Thank you, Professor Orland, for this nice introduction. Uh, today I will try to talk about credibility, validity, as more often we used to say, uh, and testing of dynamic simulation models. Uh, the little parenthesis that I had when I said validity, more often we used to say, I will make it clearer later. For the past several years, I decided that uh, you know, validity was a misnomer, is a misleading term that, including myself, simulationists have used for many years. Many simulationists also use credibility. So uh, in, the, in the past decade or so, I am, I am becoming, I have become more and more strongly convinced that credibility is a much better term than validity. Th that I'll explain in a minute. Uh, first of all, I want to say about fevers about some fundamental conceptual and definitional issues. When you talk about credibility or validity of models, simulation models or any model, uh, unavoidably you, are, you face some really deep philosophical concepts. Now, if you are not interested in philosophy, you don't have to go and read about them and get into a discussion. But it's at least nice to have an idea about these fundamental philosophical issues that philosophers haven't been able to resolve for centuries. So when we have these fights among modelers, simulation modelers or other modelers about validity of models, credibility of models, you should keep in mind that it's not easy, it's not an easy fight, and perhaps there is no point in fighting without knowing about the fundamental conceptual philosophical uh, uh, concepts behind them. Uh, and I'll try to explain it very briefly. Uh, model, model credibility or validity, when you talk about them, we must first of all distinguish between two main types of models. Because the discussion, the definition of validity and credibility becomes radically different depending on what type of, what class of models you are talking about. And that's where the fights start. Because people forget that they are talking about